Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Beauty on a Budget. My name is Heather and today is Tuesday, June 18th of 2024. And I'm just gonna do a quick house tidy. I'm up here in my bedroom. You know, my bed looks like that most of the time. I think it's made, it's okay. I've got a pile of laundry that's, I've got to wash. And then in my bathroom, I've got more laundry I've got to wash. I'm just gonna take all my laundry downstairs. I'm just gonna move towels and things out of the way, but you can see my shower is you know fairly clean. I just cleaned it the other day. Like I said, I don't always film myself cleaning right now. I'm so busy doing so many things, but I keep my bathroom to like a really minimalist clean, so it's easy to keep clean. Same with the, the bedroom. I mean, I've there's not anything in the closet. I think everything is all hung up and kind of put away. So there's nothing here that needs to be done. Everything is clean. So other than just some laundry, these bedrooms over here, I said everything is clean. There's nothing here. Towels on the floor. One of our animals peed on the floor, so I just had to clean it up. So I gotta do the towel. I forgot about that this morning. So like I said, other than just laundry from upstairs and into the living room, I've got stuff that's gotta get kind of picked up. I know I've got a vacuum and mop, so I've got blankets that need to get just put away. I've got my coffee from this morning, my juice from last night has to get cleaned up. Um, taking out books and movies from the library, they need to get put back. I just took out some this earlier today and then those are from last week. So I, have to, I haven't read those books or watched those movies yet, but I do have to put them where they I normally have them. And then my shoes are in the middle of the floor here. I just gave the cats their supper. So my kitchen is, you know, fairly clean. I said, other than just my um, vacuuming and mopping of my floor on the main floor, I think that's all I have to do is just laundry and stuff. I will show this. My daughter is in ceramics, and so she made this toad abode. For when we move, it's gonna be in the center of our garden. So it does stand quite tall. I don't have a measuring tape, but just compare, this is a, a good size salt lamp. I wish I had something to compare it to. I don't I have to get the measuring tape just so you can see with that. And I've got a lot of ceramics on here that she made this past semester. Just gonna do this so you can see all the stuff that she's really making. I told her her stuff could be showcased on this wall, which means I have to find somewhere new for this little basket thing. And then that's her laptop and some of her stuff from school. She wrote her test today. She's got one test tomorrow and she is basically done. And there is a giant bee in my house. I heard something, <laughs> I turn around and there's a giant bee. So I'm gonna leave this room. Um, there's no dishes on my counter. Everything is clean, put away. I just have to do a good, uh, I guess, a quick vacuum and a mop of my main floor. So I'm just gonna go and start my laundry and I will show my craft room. I haven't been in here, haven't done anything. Still haven't even got the screens all in every window yet which is probably how the bee got in my house. So not a lot has changed. So I'm just gonna do laundry, mop and vacuum and I think that is all I have to do today. So I've got my laundry is now in the dryer. I've got my floors all vacuumed ready to mop. I've got this room all picked up. Everything is all clean, put away. I 
found a place for this little basket thing. I don't really know what it's called, but I've got it there. So everything here is all put away. I got my load of laundry is now in the dryer. So all I have left now is just to mop and then to take out the garbage and empty the litter box. So I'm just going to go quickly do a mop and the litter box and the garbage and then I will be back. Right, so I'm just going to put my clean laundry away but first I'm just sorting everything. It's just one of the fast ways I have found to be able to put laundry away is when I take each item out of the uh, dryer, I fold it immediately and then I come upstairs and then I just take each item out of the laundry basket and I put them in the different piles. So I've got clothes that have to hang in the closet, t-shirts, pants, and I kind of separate the pants into the two different kind of piles. Um, I've got some skirts and summer shorts now, and then I got my husband's clothes and then any undergarment items. So I'm just going to go and finish putting this laundry away. And then I think, look at the clock, I've got quite a few hours today. I think I'm going to actually do my fridge and pantry today as well. So I will be back down in the kitchen clearing out the pantry. Okay, so. This is the pantry. I'm going to take everything out. I'm not quite sure how long that's going to take, but I'm going to take everything out and I'm going through every um, box and can and I'm checking expiry dates and I'm also going to check and see if I, if I think I'm going to use them at all or not. So I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm just going to take everything out of my pantry and then when I get that done, I will be back. Right, so I've got all the food out of my pantry. So I'm just gonna be going through all this stuff and figuring out what I have, what I will be keeping, what I will be you know, kind of like either donating or kind of like for the to the food bank or seeing if my other kids want any of it i've got let's see these have been open. this has not been open i've got one box of unopened uh cereal i got this at christmas i was gonna make these rudolph um marshmallow squares never got to it and then i do have somewhere here two cases of um what is it I'm not sure where they got put. I've got two cases of the microwave popcorn. Oh, here they are. One is from Walmart. One is from Superstore. The daughter who's living at home doesn't like them. My other kids do. So I'm going to just give those to my other kids. I've got some unopened uh, day home snacks here. I will be taking to a friend of mine for their little ones. And then over here is all like my cake mixes and um, cake mixes and oh pancake mix. And then I've got a whole bunch of these boxes like this of the little mini um, coffee creamers. I think I've got about six boxes of those still. So I'm just going to go through this stuff and figure out exactly what I use, what I'm not going to be using, kind of figure out what's going to go back in the pantry. But I've got my pantry, I vacuumed it out, so I'm just going to get a hot soapy water and wipe down all the shelves and get this stuff back in the pantry and then I will be back. Alright, so I've got a good start on getting the stuff back in the pantry. I'm also um, stocking a few um, the containers with any open bags I have. And then I've decided that I'm not going to put anything back up on the top shelf unless I have to. I think it's just going to be the cereal, cake mix. I think that's all that's going to go up on the top shelf. So most of the stuff that was on the top shelf, I moved down to the other shelf and the shelf. So these two middle shelves was everything that was on the top two shelves. 
And then I've got enough room in here for my canned goods. I don't really have much left. I don't really have, I don't really have a lot of canned food. Just a few rows of food here. That's all there is. I've been working really hard to use up all this food without going and purchasing too much other food. And then the stuff I have over here on the table, I'm gonna go through, cause there's a few items that my daughter doesn't like. So I'm gonna see if my other kids want any of it. So I've got cereal, oatmeal, um, coffee whitener or coffee creamer and uh, looks, not the crackers, the crackers just got set over there. Um, some juice crystals and some taco shells. So I don't have a lot left to put away. And then these things here that are left on this counter go in those two black hanging baskets. I just didn't put anything in just because I needed to be able to put the other food in. So I'm just going to continue putting the food away and then I will be back. Right, so I've now got everything off the counters put back in the pantry. Like I said, anything over on the kitchen table, I'm going to get my daughter to go through and I'm going to split it between my other kids. Oops, just move the ladder out of the way. So there is the bottom shelf. And then the next shelf, I don't have a lot left for canned items. I thought I had more soup than I did, but like I said, I've been trying to really use up what I have. And like I said, this is gonna be the hard one because I usually have this stuff up one shelf, but you know, I just thought, no, it'd be easier if I can just kind of downsize or like, or not just move it down a shelf so I can see exactly what I have. And I've just got some of my coconut sugar, the dried fruit, and other things packaged here. And then this top one here, I've got all my little nuts. And there is some other, all oh, my chai, chia seeds, and my flax seeds are also behind there. Up there on the top shelf, I've got my basket of chocolate chips. I've got a couple boxes of those little whippet. Um, cookie things that my husband likes. I've got just the ice cream bowls and the open box of crackers. And then just behind, I'm just gonna the step stool. Just behind here, I've got some of my open flowers. Like I got my different rice flowers there and just some other, my corn flower. Oh, and then I got a pack of dates. And then right here, I've got all my cake mixes. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've only got eight cake mixes left. I've got my thing of my baking crumbs, the open box of um, pancake mix, and then behind these, just so I, these don't get pushed too far back, I've got an unopened box of baking soda. I got a couple boxes of my little cereals here, these granola ones. I love to use these granola cereals as a starter for some of my granola bars that I make. So one is banana nut and the other one is raisin nut and seed. And then behind there I've got I think it's another four boxes of unopened pancake mix. And then I have an unopened box of crackers and an open box of my uh, graham wafers. Just stuck those there just so this stuff doesn't get pushed too far back. But you can just see how empty my pantry is becoming. So now I'm just going to do a quick clean off my counters and I will back because I'm going to clean up my fridge next. Okay, so I've got my aprons here. I think I got about five or six. And so I'm just going to throw them in to do a quick wash. And then I'm going to just keep out, I think, two of them. And the rest I'm actually just going to pack away. There's no point in having them all out. So like I said, I'm just going to put it on this speed wash. Take 15 minutes. So now when I come back, I will finish the um, my fridge. the freezer there's nothing really to do in the freezer it's like fine I've done this fairly recently same with this crisper drawer 
Oh, it's got some cheese that's got to get thrown out. So I'll deal with that. But it's just, when I open my fridge, I've got a lot of um, produce that I got to deal with that's not so good. And then just reorganizing everything. So I'm just going to take everything out of my fridge and start organizing it. So I will be back as soon as I get everything out. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is Thursday, June 20th. I started doing this on Tuesday. I spent the rest of Tuesday and all day yesterday helping two of my kids move. So uh, my two of my kids were renting together. Um, so my daughter, she's moving in with her boyfriend's family. And my son, he's got plans to move closer to where he wants to go to school, but he can't move there for a few weeks, so he's moved home for a few weeks with his cat. That now means we've got three cats in the house and a dog, so it's gonna be a really interesting couple of weeks. Like I said, the other day, I had finished the pantry. Uh, my son's got a few of his grocery items in here as well. And then I was gonna give the cereal to my son, but because he's moving home, we just stuck all the cereal back up in the pantry. And my daughter had a few things in her pantry that she wasn't gonna use, so we've got them too. So later on, I'll be making a pumpkin spice cake. So what I'm going to do now is do my fridge. Like I said, I had started pulling out the produce stuff. So that stuff I've already taken out. It's already out in the compost. In fact, today was garbage day, so it's already long gone. And, I, and then I had to just stuff everything back in to go help my kids. So I'm going to pull everything out of my fridge. So I saw some stuff in here that needs to get uh, rid of as well. I never got to it. And then here just needs to be organized so my son can put some more of his items in this freezer. And then I will have to go and do the fr fridge and the two freezers in the garage later today. I, or tomorrow. I don't think I can get to it all today. Just so my son has uh, stuff for his freezer and his fridge items. So I'm just going to start bring everything out of the fridge and then I will be back. So I don't have a lot of food in my fridge. I've got some all the bread stuff here. I've got some hot dogs I'll have to cook up tonight for supper. I don't really have, like I said, a lot of these containers are almost empty so I'm kind of going through and saying, well, can I start throwing some of these out? What is in these containers? If I found a couple, like last time I did this, I found some barbecue sauce. I kind of mixed them all into one. And then right here, I've got some food that's got to get thrown out and some containers to get washed, like this one here. There's like, I mean, there is enough in here, but I'd rather just throw it out because the doesn't look good anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of that container. I've got to put my dishes away. I'm defrosting some apples because my daughter said she wanted to make apple pie. Don't know if she will get to it. If she doesn't, then I will make apple pie on Saturday. So now, I, and then for in my fridge, it's all been cleaned out and washed out. I use the Lysol Kitchen Pro Power Degreaser. Just sprayed it on and wiped it off. And then I did take a wet, a warm wet cloth and just went over to kind of, I, Anytime I use a cleaner and I'm putting food on it, I always wa wash it off and then I went and dried everything. So now I'm just going to put this food back in the fridge. It's just going to take me a minute and then I will be back. Right, so I've got all my food back in the fridge. It's all neat and organized. I can see exactly what I have trying to really you know empty out all the stuff before I open any new things so that is done and then I did do this too I didn't really you know just the eggs the butter and then I've got the cheese that's more butter cheese slices um, those crescent roll things the place I get them they always seem to have lots always at 50% off uh, this is the Lactensia it's, uh, cream cheese, and I got a couple things of the Crisco lard so I can make my pie crust. And I didn't do the freezer. There's nothing really here. It's organized. It's just things just need to kind of get moved out of the way. So I'm 
think I'm gonna end uh, right here. I know I said I was gonna do the fridge and the freezers in the garage. I think I'm gonna do that later today. I'll wait till my daughter's home from work and then she can help me do it. Not sure if I will film any of that. It's just taking everything out of the freezers and just going through and seeing what, um, how to put everything between the two freezers so my son's got room for some of his stuff. So again, I just wanna say thank you so much to everybody who's subscribing to my channels and watching my videos and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.